guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I have my handy dandy hands off handles. I've used them several times, love them. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, this is a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped uh, artist loft canvas. And I'm gonna be using up, hopefully, <laughs> these colors that I have um, been, um, that have been here for a few days. I just want to use them up. They're fall colors, so it's fall, so it's time to do it. So this is the, um, it's Deco Art Pearl, and um, Deco Art uh, Americana Metallics in Pearl, and I've added a little bit of satin and nails to this. This is, um, this is Parage Posse in Knockoff. This is, Modern Masters, and it's a mixture of ruby and uh, Venetian blue to make this beautiful plum purple color. And we have the ruby mixed with uh, Pebeo Iridescent Blue Violet, Violet Blue, that's what I'm at. <laughs> and this is just, uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of deco art. Um, 24 karat gold. Oh, geez, I'm getting purple in here. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. So I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, deco art in here. And it's going all the way down here. That's what it is. And my, uh, I've got this as my um, flow extender. It's that purple, but it's really thinned out. So of the deco art. Oh, so when you're opening opening these up, you want to give them a stir because some of the good stuff might be on the bottom and it's good to have them, give them a good stir anyways. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the golden iridescent. So this is the combination of the two of them. I'm gonna to have to uh, thin this out a little bit. Uh, yeah. It's a little on the thick side, put some flow trial in it. Some GAC. Oh, come on, GAC. Oh, it was stuck. This is how good GAC is. See how clear it is? That comes off. It was stuck to the bottom because it leaked. But this is how your paint will dry. It'll dry absolutely true to color with the gack in it. I'm gonna do a drip test. There's one. There's two. The white might be a little bit thinner, but that's okay. Well, really want them all the same. Okay, so there we go. And I'm going to dump, uh, do it this way so you guys can see. And I can't. So the white is a little bit thinner. But the rest of them are perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. So the white might create some clouds because I put that uh, satin enamels in it, which I am going to put the tiniest amount in the bottom, tiny. And then I'm gonna go with this deep purple. Probably put a lot of the white in in between. this color go. some more of the white I think I want some clouds here
take some gold and pour it right in the center. And I'm going to pour into this. All right, here we go. I think I'll pour. Nah, pour the way I poured it. Here we go. Up high, blending the colors. Coming down lower. Colors are a little bit thinner than usual. Ooh, I'm getting some already. Nice! I didn't really pour that directly in the center, did I? Oh, I'm liking this. I've got to torch it. it again before I stretch it out because there are a lot of bubbles and they'll still be coming up. Um, I'm wondering if I should try and wreck this. I'm not good at wrecking either. So let's just pour this around. is more of a bluish. I put a little bit more of the red in. All right, guys. What do I do? This is going to get really big. I'm not happy about that. Yeah, I saw Sarah Mack do it. Oh my God, her pour was phenomenal. They looked baroque. And um, it was just, oh God. The girl is so good at wrecking pours and doing loop-de-loops. She did these loop-de-loops that were to die for. So I don't know if I'm, I can, um, I don't know if I could wreck it with a loop-de-loop like she does. Now I'm stalling. I know. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. <laughs> Do I try to?
I might take a lot of this white off. It's just too much of it, I think. Tossing it back and forth. And I st now I see it. Ugh, bugger. You bugger. in here. I'm going to have to let it sit for a second. Um, yeah, I'm not liking that center at all. But I like the colors. The scent, the composition's crap. I like this now. I love this and this. Just not sure. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. It went all wonky in the center. Let's see if I can get anything. There's a mosquito biting me. I knew there was something on me. Yes. It's the very bottom of the barrel. But sometimes I think. You can really, um, you don't need a lot for a, a new center. Um, that's my theory. <laughs> and I'm sticking with it. And I can put the white and the gold after that. I do have lots more purple. I suck at these. All right, I'm just gonna try and move it around, see what we get.
weight and the gold were thinner. So that's what happens when your consistencies are off. But I'm not, I'm not hating it. I'm not liking that, but I'm not hating this at all. I might do something. I want to take off this. I really don't. still have an earring, guys. Oh, I've got a golf ball here, but I think it might be too big for that. I just, I did get a, um, baby off. That's looking better. What do you think, guys? out of here. He's the mosquito who must have hit me or gotten me. Take that! Ha ha ha. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, you bit me. <laughs> sorry. I love this. I just think there's too much here. wonder if I can swipe I'm trying everything, aren't I? <laughs> what can I, oh, I can swipe it with the, the white. I think, well, let me try a corner of it first. This is really cool. All these cells here are so cool. This has satin enamels in it. So it might create something really cool here. Yeah, cause I, I'm not digging this too much.
Yeah, there's too much pain. Smearing it. How many techniques can I get in one painting? up in a few minutes after I clean this mess up and uh, yeah let's see what happens oh there's a lot of interest in this piece that um, pearl uh, gold and mixing with the gold is remarkable all right I'll be back in a few. Hey guys. Wow. <laughs> this went through a lot, but I'm loving it now. So many different techniques. And it's not your conventional straight. 
straight pour. Different is good. One of the parts I really love is right here, where that gold just blends right into that purple I made. And there, I love that part too. There's a lot of parts. There's a lot of parts to see. Oh my goodness, I'm stretching. Feels good actually. <laughs> so long as I don't uh, fall into the painting here. And this, oh, right there. That is so cool. Yep, I'm liking it. I'm glad I mixed the 24 karat with the iridescent. Go oh, look at that. I've never seen a shine like that. Pretty. A lot of bling bling. It's all bling bling actually. So I noticed this piece was moving a little bit, so I'm going to let it dry on one side. Um, it's my surface, it's like that. Oops, hope that, hopefully that's not a man part. I might have to kill it. Not that I don't like men. Wow. That's where the marble roll was. And there's the swipe. <laughs> oh, straight pour, you know, it's, geez, Louise, how many different things could I have done to this? Oh, look at that right there. See, that's the part I wanted to stretch out right there. So I'm gonna let it dry the opposite way. So if it's gonna move, it's gonna move in the right direction. Ah, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now. Hey guys, this is the dried results from last night's, or this video. A lot of bling. That gold is just spectacular. Really happy with the composition now too. <laughs> Took a while to get there, but yeah, and it didn't really move at all. I think there was a bug that made its way through here. He just added to the composition. <laughs> Some things can't be helped. And I love that right there, that center. Oh. So yeah, it turned out great. Better than I thought. So here's that one. I do have the results to the Dutch pour too in just a moment. And here's the Dutch pour. Don't know what that is. I, I don't know, I'm kind of scared to look. Um, I don't know if I want to sand it off or not, but when I took the blow dryer and went um, full blast on high right there, it turned out so pretty. I was a little scared to do it, but I'm like, oh, I try everything at least once. So yeah, that was my problem area right there. I'm not really digging that too much, but I'm loving these fall colors. This is as fall as I get. But uh, yeah, and the paints held up very well with that base. Lots of detail there. Look at those beautiful gold cells peeking through. Now the only part that didn't turn out was right here, the paints broke up and I have no idea why. But I will fix it, you know me. Because this piece is too pretty to uh, pour over. I really like it. So, that's it for now.